Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechak, Wadash. Double honor unto the apostles and the elders, the great millstone, who rule well and teach well, and who I have learned this truth from through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace and salutations unto all the Akim, you brothers preaching this word in truth and in sincerity across the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect, you sincere believers scattered, whoever you may be. All right. And uh, Lord willing, this video be edifying and exhorting unto the flock. Uh, going into the topic of one of my favorites, you know, a, reincur a reoccurring topic that I, I love to get into is the deliverance. The deliverance of the elect. Um, so the title of this one, Lucy, Lord willing, will be. The Lord will spare his elect. Um, Salakia. Um, alluding to, or, you know what I'm saying, this uh, Malachi 3 and verse 16 on down. So we'll begin with this. And I have a few precepts lined up. Lord willing, again, this will be edifying unto you. So this is Malachi 3 and 16. It says, Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another and the lord hearkened and heard it and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the lord and that thought upon his name okay and we're praying and hoping that we're of that number to where the lord will have mercy upon us okay we're hoping that we have that the why that mark of exemption uh, the exemption from the judgment, the brutal judgment that's coming to this earth. Right. And what's the main destruction that's coming is the ICBM missiles that are going to touch down in America, Babylon the Great. Right. We know that, you know, but the ones who are fearing the Lord, hoping in his mercy and that are calling upon his name and, and truth. You know, with that contrite spirit, that broken spirit, Lord Rillin will be delivered. Okay. And I said their book, I mean, Salakia. And this precepts with the, uh, was that Revelation written? Because everything, you know what I'm saying, the elect was already uh, 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 predestined to get the victory. Right. And that should bring you comfort, knowing that basically your your what they call in the world fate, your fate is already sealed. Right. The victory has already been won. We're just <laughs> we're living in it. We have to go through it to get to it. OK. Um, let's go to. Uh, well. Yep. Daniel 12 and 1, it reads, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And what is this speaking of? It's speaking of Jacob's trouble. To where there's going to be a lot of chaos, pandemonium going on in the streets. To where there'll be martial law and, and chipping stations and and uh, concentration camps, FEMA camps, things of that sort. You know, mass chaos upon this earth is going to be a time like we've never seen before, like the earth has never seen before. It's that great climax in the Lord's movie. And that we pray that we have that bubble, that shield around us. You know, the angels encamped around us, Lord willing. All right. But at, at, at that same time, what, Michael, you know what I'm saying, the... Uh, 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 well, let's grab it. Because I believe the word Michael goes into um, who is like the most high. He's coming to unleash war basically with Yahweh Shai. You no, know, Michael, the archangel. Um, but continuing on, it says, and at that time thy people shall be delivered every one that it shall be found written in the book from there let me jump to isaiah isaiah 46 and 
Actually, I think it's Isaiah 48 and 6. So, like, it bear with me for these. It might be, uh, let me just grab this one. I know it's for Isaiah 46 and 10. Or, yep. Isaiah 46 and 10, declaring the end from the beginning and knowing Yahweh basically already wrote the story out man okay he basically laid down the blueprint and gave authority unto Yahweh Shai you know and that's our way back to the heavenly father you know having that relationship our personal relationship with Yahweh Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai right but however Yahweh already hand selected that elect <laughs> from before the foundations of the earth and lord willing we can grab that uh but going into isaiah 46 and 10 declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure so everything that you go through in life man is already written okay even in your daily walk you might have done some you might have done some shit that you quote unquote regret it was the will of the Lord. <laughs> the Lord put the spirit upon you to do these things. You know, it's not, a, it's not, an, uh, uh, let me grab that. It is not in a, uh, uh, in a way, it's a lock, I'm butchering it. It is not in man. I think that's Jeremiah. Yep, Jeremiah 10 and 23. Oh, Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. <laughs> you know, because everything that you do, man, everything that you put your mind to, or me even coming to this damn uh, uh, coffee shop, you know. I just got me some coffee, stunning a little bit. Um, and then here I am doing this lesson. It's all the will of the Lord, right? Or whatever you may be doing, you getting that new job, that new promotion, you... Uh, 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 falling out with this particular woman, you may be getting with a particular woman, you linking up with the Akim on this certain day, you going out to dinner, you know, every little thing is already ordained from the beginning. Jeremiah 10 and 23, O Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. It's really the Lord. So anything that you're involved in, and even those that come into the truth, it was meant for you to receive it. It's not meant for everybody. And we know that. Okay. And then you know that the Lord is primarily dealing with who? His elect. So going uh, uh, back to the point I was trying to make the foundation, it was already written that these particular uh, individuals are going to receive salvation. Ephesians 1 and 4, according to as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love damn okay so uh, it's all through yahweh bashim yahweh shai it's not of us man it's not of us even you coming back to the lord repenting it's not of us that's why it's all praise honor and glory unto yahweh bashim yahweh shai because we know that and nothing good dwelleth within us, man. There's not one good thing. And being in this flesh, we know we're utterly wicked. You know what I'm saying? But it's through the faith of the Lord, you know, and, and basically, you know, through him, we're going to be found blameless. Lord willing, by believing on him and, and, and doing our best to rehearse the righteous acts, right? Trying and... and striving for perfection knowing that we'll never be perfect in these incorruptible body or in, in this corruptible body you know um uh let's uh, 
and that was it basically with that one all right so let me go back to these precepts here i think i didn't even <laughs> this is i didn't even go into the rest of uh, malachi 3 and 17 now right it says and they shall be mine saith the lord of hosts and then not say in him right the lord and they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels. Who is his jewels? Who is his precious? Who is the apple of his eye? You know, the elect. He have care for his elect. It says, and I will spare them as a man spare of his own son that serveth him. So just as how, and mind you, you have Jacob and Esau, right? You know, Esau is the wicked one. He's going to, he's being reserved to the day of his punishment. Uh, 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 was that Proverbs 16 and 4? He's not going to get spared, but what? The righteous one will get spared. You know, Jacob. Did it not, oh, did it not say uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7, right? Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So who's going to be the one spared? Jacob. But out of that Jacob, out of Israel, the Israel of God, his chosen. Um, right? So as a man spare his own son that served him. So if he's being obedient, you know, why would he put the, the whipping stick, so to speak, on him? You know, why would he's he's gonna be spared from judgment? He's gonna be good. He's gonna be on that on on the good side of his father. However, if that if that kid is constantly rebellious. Constantly doing some shit that he's not supposed to be doing. Accusing <laughs> his own mother's son. Okay. What do you think is going to happen to him? Judgment. That is not going to fare well with him. Continuing on Malachi 3 and 18. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked. Between him that serveth the most high and him that serveth him not. It says in the NLT, then you will again see the difference between the righteous and the wicked, between those who serve the most high and those who do not. And Lord willing, you know, we, we get beamed up on them chariots and see. Oh, man, it's going to be uh, a sight to see, you know, for lack of better words. And Lord willing, you know, what I'm saying we be up in them chariots looking down at the destruction of America, Babylon, the great. We'll see the the uh, result of of wickedness that reaches up into the heavens we'll see the uh, uh the judgment on our enemies but also being in in a state of man like relief you know that lord willing we be the ones that <sighs> did not partake in that fire okay and we know that the Lord is coming or, you know, going to destroy this place in one hour. But at one hour, you know, in the Lord's time, it feels like 46 or oh, it's 46 years, 46 point some years, if I'm not mistaken. You know, in the Lord's time. So those in the fire, the Lord could make it to where you feel that. And then some, you know, Lord knows how it's going to be, man. He's it's the almighty we're talking about. You know. That's why we constantly have to have the fear of the Lord upon us. All right, to maneuver in this world and try our best not to be doing wicked. Um, <clears throat> but let me jump to uh, Psalm 33 and 18. All right. It says, Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. And we know famine is coming, you know, through bread and water, but also through the through the uh, uh, the word of the Lord. But we got to get it now while we still can. Speaking first and foremost to myself, it says our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. And we have to believe that we have to believe that if we put our trust and faith in him, who could be against us? All right. Because he is in control. What do I have to fear? What do we have to fear? Knowing that if we fear him and he's in control of everything else, why should you fear another man? Or why should you fear, you know what I'm saying, the particular outcomes? Nah, man. Again, it's easier said than done. 
but it can be done is through faith. And we have to ask the most high for more faith. You know, the belief. Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief, right? It says, for our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. And that name is so important, man. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. There's, it's power in those names because it's the true name. The Lord is not going to uh, 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 hear you or deliver you if you're calling him by a different name. What do you expect? It's like you calling out like in the, in the world, just in your real life, in real life, calling out somebody like, hey, my boy's name is John, and I call him fucking Mark, you know? I'm like, yo, Mark, and he's walking the other way. You think he's going to turn back and look, you know, respond? You know? You have, to have, you have to have some, you have to show reverence and respect unto the true name of the Heavenly Father. And there's some, you have some people out here, some Israelites, that neglect that, that say it doesn't matter, that say you can call them whatever the case may be. All right, and Lord willing, they repent from that. But hey, we know that there's going to be the false prophets out here. So continuing on, it says, Let thy mercy, O Yahweh, be upon us according as we hope in thee. And that's our hope, man, that we be delivered. Lord willing, uh, Isaiah 50 and 10. All right, it says, Who is among you that fear of the Lord, that obeyeth the voice of his servant, that walketh in darkness and have no light? Let him trust in the name of the Lord and stay upon his power. All right, it's our power. He's the God of the Israelites and none else. Okay. And trust in the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, those that are calling upon a different name, those that are calling upon Jesus Christ. We'll see. We'll see if you'll be covered in them times. We'll see if, if you know what I'm saying? Whether or not the Lord is with you or not. Because you have people very, hey, and said the Lord will choose their delusions. Some people are really, truly bugged out. And this is why, man, we got to have fear of the Lord at all, at all times. Because, you know, Lord forbid he takes any, you know, the Holy Spirit away from us. You know? Because, again, it is, it's all through the will of the Lord at the end of the day. We got to stay humble and meek through it all. You know, because knowledge puffeth up. But who gave you it? <laughs> the Lord. So, you know, not to be boastful or, or prideful about it, but having that, that clean confidence in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and what he has endowed you with. Ultimately, the Holy Spirit and the faith. Um, Psalm 86 and 5. Salakia. Yep. Psalm 86 and 5. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. And the reoccurring, <laughs> reoccurring message, that name, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai says, Give ear, O Yahweh, unto my prayer and attend to the voice of my supplications. And prayer is very important as well. Pray without ceasing. You now we got to talk to our Lord, communicate. Communication is key. Okay. It says, In the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. And this is the faith that we have to have, that he will come through on his promises, on his word, and deliver us. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O Lord, neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. And literally, all nations, you know, will be in total reverence uh, uh, and bow before Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in the kingdom of heaven. You know, they will serve. Uh, they're going to serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and, and, and in turn, uh, uh, not in turn, but basically, for lack of better words, and uh, in cahoots, man, they're going to be serving the Israelites. The, the, the heathen are going to be in slavery in the kingdom of heaven. And that's that's what it is. That's the truth. Okay. For thou art great and doest wondrous works. Thou art power alone. All right. And those names, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh will be glorified. 
be glorified, especially at the destruction of, of, of America, Babylon the Great, and also Israel. But Israel will get built back up again, the Holy Land. Okay, but it has to be cleansed. Um, and just to end off, Zechariah 10 and 6. It reads, And I will strengthen the house of Judah, and I will save the house of Joseph, so both northern and southern kingdom. And I will bring them again to place them, for I have mercy upon them, and they shall be as though I had not cast them off. For I am the Lord their power, and will hear them. And they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man, and their heart shall rejoice as through wine. Yea, their children shall see it and be glad. Their heart shall rejoice in the Lord. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Wa, Ababa Ball. Keep pushing, keep enduring. Akim, Wa Akwath. We're almost out of here, man. Shalom.